I can promise you that by the end of this video, you're gonna remember something that you forgot about. That being said, let's take a look at the most forgotten toys. To start though, hi, I'm Evan Sue. A lot of you guys probably know me on YouTube for being a toy review channel when I was younger. So when I tell you that I know a thing or two about toys, I mean it. But yeah, I did some research down memory lane. And these are the toys I rediscovered. Let's start by rejogging your memory. Here's the first toy, and before I say anything about it, did you have it? You guys might be remembering it or remembering a friend that had it, but I remember this Bat Cave toy clearly. I I specifically remember this little part opening and closing on it. They also made the space shuttle one I had, this dragon fortress, and even this castle right here. What about this contraption right here? You drop a marble onto it and it go down this whole entire path. But what about Zuzu pets? Yeah, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. But these little hamsters, you could put clothes on them and they would just run around. You could even build them their own little hamster course, which I always found fun. One more thing I haven't thought about in a while are mighty beans. And if you were to throw it down, no matter what, it would always stand upright. I don't know what Zuzu new magic they put into that thing still confuses me to this day but enough with these random toys let's talk about the toys that we played with in school how many of you guys remember these things in like pe sit on them grab the handles and just go roll around if not that do these building blocks look familiar i remember we'd have to use them for stuff like math but me personally little kid me always used to just stack them up and build a bunch of random stuff there's also these teddy bears that you could find in a bucket they came in a bunch of different colors also especially these spiky building blocks you could disconnect them in a bunch of different ways same goes for these triangles magnetic building things. Kids would also have these things called silly bands. I definitely remember these. How many of you guys like kindergarten teachers have this little pointer finger thing? I remember little me wanted them so bad and then they finally started selling them at the book fair. So you know I had to cop. I also remember these little sticky hand things that you'd throw and you know slap people with. Okay maybe not people but you know like a window or something. Now let's move on to vending machine toys. First you might be asking what's a vending machine toy? I know I know. I'll give you a pass. It's been a while but you can find these things at pizza parlors right as you're leaving Toys R Us, the arcade, places like that. How many of you guys remember these? I know I do. They're these little cute ninja guys and they came in a bunch of different colors. I remember, I had a ton of these things. Another one of them like it is these go-go things. I remember, you just put in a quarter at the local pizzeria and all these things came in little mini capsules. They also had these other ninjas. They were really basic looking, but I remember I still collected a ton of these. They had stuff like washable tattoos. I remember this specifically at Toys R Us. You pull out the metal thing and then you get a tattoo. But since you were a kid, you know, it kind of washed off after your first shower of the day and also i just remembered they had a bunch of different colored balls in here they had them of all different types of colors they were really cool next let's talk about some nostalgic board games i literally got hit with a wave of nostalgia when i started looking at these first up we have barrel of monkeys i remember these you could connect them all together there's also hungry hungry hippo where you could control a hippo and see who could eat the most balls but I don't think you guys are ready for the next one. I don't know if it was just me, but this game completely got erased from my mind. I started freaking out when I remembered it. Here we have Elephant. I remember having this one a long, long, long time ago. Basically, it was this like inflatable elephant thing, and it would shoot out a bunch of butterflies out of its nose. And you'd have these little nets where you have to see who can catch the most. There is also games like Mousetrap. You set up a bunch of different contraptions, shoots and ladders. I haven't heard of this game in so long. Of course, we got games like Candyland. You guys remember Pop the Pig? I think that's the earliest thing I can remember remember asking for Christmas. I completely forgot about Don't Wake Daddy. You'd kind of move around. There was this dad sleeping in the middle of the board game. And he'd like wake up. I remember that kind of scared me. There were some of these games too, like Ants in the Pants and Don't Break the Ice. Now other than toy stores, you could also get toys at McDonald's, specifically their Happy Meal. The first one I'm going to bring up are these Lego Movie Cups. These things were awesome. Actually, I have one of them. Let me go grab it. All right, guys. So here it is. Look at this. Vitruvius Cup. Pretty cool. So the thing about these Lego Movie Cups that made them special, besides having a bunch of cool designs those designs actually move like look at it right here look at them move that's so cool this stuff was mind-blowing at age like seven the happy meals weren't just cups there's also ones like these smurf happy meals i remember i had a bunch of these guys but i always wanted to get papa smurf i don't remember if i actually ever did i don't think i did i probably got this lame one right here a million times but yeah they also had trek monsters vs aliens do you guys even remember what that movie was about and even rio but let's move on to pop culture toys so you guys might be wondering what oh. i mean when i say pop culture basically just toys based off of video games or TV shows, stuff like that. Start with some toys that I hold very close to my heart. If you guys know who I am, basically I started my channel making Angry Bird toy reviews. I probably own every single Angry Bird toy in existence. You got an expert on the subject right here. The earliest Angry Bird toy I can remember is this one, Angry Birds Knock on Wood. Came with a bunch of different wooden building blocks. You could build your own structure with it, put the pigs on top of the structure, and then slingshot the birds into the structure to destroy it. This toy was awesome. There were also Angry Birds mash 
Dashams. These things were basically just little squishy toys. You could twist them, stretch them, and hey, I even got a bunch of them dumped on my head for a video one time. And there were also Angry Birds Star Wars toys. I specifically remember this one, the Death Star, and you'd put in the bricks to build it up. And then you could take your giant Chewbacca Angry Bird and destroy the whole thing. But other than Angry Birds, there were other video game toys, one of which was a whole genre, Toys to Life. An example of this would be Skylanders. I'd go to Toys R Us with my dad and pick these things up. How it would work is you take the figure, place it on this portal, and then that figure that you bought at the store would show up inside of the game that you could play as. Like Skylanders, there was also Disney Infinity. I haven't thought about this game in a while. You could play as Sully, Mr. Incredible, Jack Sparrow. Pretty cool. Besides video games though, they had toys based off of shows. But how long has it been since you thought about this? They had a bunch of different cars racing toys, but no, some of them were color changing. This Lightning McQueen one could turn red into yellow. It was so cool, it felt like there was two toys in one. To this day, I still don't know how that even worked. Other vehicles were Thomas the Train toys. I remember ones like this where it was like wooden tracks for Thomas to ride on. One last toy, these things, two heroes. I don't know why I threw it in here. It's kind of random, I know. But they had a bunch of Minecraft YouTuber toys. Please tell me in the comments that you guys remember these too and it's not just me. The last part of this video, we're gonna go on a little speed run. I'm just gonna be naming random toy after random toy. You guys are just gonna get hit with a bunch of nostalgia waves. So be prepared. Let's start in three, two, one, go. To start, we have this owl clock. You press these red buttons to open up the owl's eyes. Here's a random Fisher Price toy. Came with a bunch of different rainbow colored rings and you would just stack them on top of each other. Here we have a little record player. This one's a random one. It's this like little tree set. I don't know what it was from, but I just remember owning it. There's also these guys called Little People. I don't know. They always look pretty funny to me. Of course, we have some childhood favorites like Bakugan. They'd be rolled into balls. Then you could open them up and they jump out. Just like that, they had Beyblades. You take this little thing, put it into the Beyblade, release it, and it goes spinning. There were these magic grow capsules. How it worked, you'd take one of these little capsules, put it in some water, wait some time, then they turn into some kind of foam creature. We also have hex bugs. I never had these personally, but I remember always seeing ads and these at the store. Many of you guys might recognize this, the Fisher Price car, red and yellow. There's also this vacuum thing that had a bunch of little balls in it that you can move around. Please tell me I'm not the only person that remembers this turtle. This turtle could open its shell, and it was, this thing was pretty big, mind you. You could fill it up with sand, and you know, there's your little sand pit. But I remember my grandma filled it up with water. We basically just used that thing as a mini pool. Easy bake oven. It's a nice way for kids to make their own food without, you know, burning down the whole house. I never really played with these, but my sister did. They were littlest pet shop. Obviously, one of our favorite childhood shows was Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Also, Kendamas. Do you guys remember when these were big in elementary school? As a Star Wars fan, I had to have a Star Wars lightsaber and you'd flick it and then it'd kind of just come out. Pretty cool. Yeah, guys, those were some of the most nostalgic and forgotten toys. But yeah, let me know in the comments which one of these brought back the most memories. For me, it'd probably have to be this Batman set. I completely forgot it existed. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, leave a like. Hopefully, I was able to give you a little blast of the past. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.